hey guys welcome back so guys um, this is the fourth part of the video which we are going to update the uh, data into the database using API resource with eloquent model in Laravel okay so we are making this a uh, CRUD API CRUD with the API resource okay so in Laravel we have one API resource thing so guys till now we have completed that how to insert fetch and fetch by ID okay so we are fetching by ID also so now let's uh, we are going to update the data that is which we are fetching the data and updating it okay so let's get started with it so guys first step I will tell you uh, go to the api.php and create one route so let's create a route 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 that is route route that is I am going to give put okay so to update in laravel we have to use put and give one url i'll give students um, update and the api controller okay so let's give api controller so i have created one controller called api controller at update function okay so let's create one update function at the api controller so let's go to the app http controller inside that api controller so let's create one simple api controller so public function that is update function okay so inside this will be passing the request so let's fill the request request dollar request request and also will be updating with the ID so let's give the ID also and let's create a variable called students that is equal to um, variable I mean model which I'm going to find by the ID dollar ID and then update with the fields okay so I have already done with the validation functions and all so I'll just paste it over here now uh, yes okay so I have pasted this now mm, yep okay so guys this is the normal input field the which is going to the student model this is a student model which I have created it is taking all the fields this F name LM course and section and it is saving the data okay as simple if the data if the ID is found then it will save the data if the ID is not found it will return an error that is there is no data available on to ID to update ID whatever the data ID is not there okay so simple and now let's I'll show you first I will tell you this student model is nothing but your table and your fillable contents okay so inside app student dot php so these are the eloquent model thing content that is table and the fillable content that is your contents okay so let's get back to the controller and after saving okay after saving it's returning called student resource so this student resource is your api resource which is used at the top okay so it's over here and this is actually the from the this is child and this is parent okay so we have to create one api resource so if you are watching from the starting of this playlist this api resource controller crud so you will understand it okay so inside app http there is one resource folder inside that student resource okay so this line is used for this file to get this file okay so inside this we have written the values into array format that is the database contents okay so table contents that is f name lm question section so i will show you now so these are the contents okay simple contents f name lm question section okay so so let's show that and return and save that okay not here it's over here okay so let's save this and then if it is not saved it will give you this error simple so let's get back to the postman 
so now let's take one new bar and yes okay it's a fresh thing so guys now what we have to do is that um go to your and serve make sure your artisan is served okay so after serving i'm going to copy this url and paste it over here paste and make sure you are setting the put function okay because you are setting put not patch you are using put okay because you have used over your api.php that is inside the route is put okay so this put and this put should be correct so now let's give api slash and your controller so let's go back to the api.php copy this and paste it over here okay and now fill the contents what you want to update so i'll show you now uh, the database so guys um in third id there is rahul kumar okay so i am going to change this as mohan kumar okay so let's get back and let's type the content so we are changing by the id so let's type the id first okay so this is the id 3 which is over here so i'm taking this id 3 and pasting at here okay now let's type field name the field name is this key so this field name f name l name question section okay so f name l name course and section okay done and make sure you are inside the param itself okay and now let's give the value so i'm going to give mohan okay and uh, mention this kumar will give mohan yeah mohan kumar and give as bcom professional and section c okay now let's send this and let's see the output that is updated to mohan from rahul to from this rahul to mohan it should get updated so let's send the request and see the output so it's loading and it's telling some error so let's see that it's telling that sorry the page you are looking could not found so what's that actually it's taking the id and uh, let's see here oops okay the biggest mistake that we did not specify the id okay so we have to specify the id now we had specified the id now so let's get back and again click on the same content so let's click and see the output yep okay so let's see in pretty way so on id 3 the mohan kumar have been changed okay so i'll show you now into the database so guys now it is rahul kumar right so after reloading it should change to mohan kumar let's see okay it's loading and boom so you have found that mohan kumar is done okay so it's set to mohan mohar kumar so because we have given that mohar kumar okay so mohan kumar is done and what's happening okay so now it's correct so so guys in this video you have learned that how to update the data and see it the value okay so like if you are going to update like see there are three ids okay now by chance if you enter enter five id and then update the data it will give you on error okay so i'll show you on demo so i will show you so five id i will give and let me send the same request and let's see the what is the output now so it will tell you one simple error okay error there is no data available to update the id 5 simple that is because we have given the condition inside our api controller if there is no data found on this update function to return in response as json format that is there is no data okay so guys um in this video we have completed that how to edit the data and update it uh, through the api resource with eloquent in laravel okay so guys thank you for watching this video and please subscribe like and share